Okay, we're here in Studio One, and I want to show you something. It's a way to get a lot of free, cool synthesizers and effects to add to your collection of sounds. Because in a lot of videos, I'll, I'll be in instruments here, and I'll open up Personas, and I'll pull in my tire, one of the Personas instruments. But if you notice, I have a lot of third-party stuff going on here. I want to introduce you to one of the third-party items, which is a super cool thing. And it gives you a bunch of free stuff. So see this reactor? Reactor is actually a synth. It can be used as a synthesizer builder and an effects builder. People can build their own synths and effects with this. Or you can just grab other stuff that people have done, drag it in here, and use it yourself. For example, um, Reactor is a paid program, but if you go to Reactor Player, it's free. And you could go to Native Instruments, Reactor Player 6 Download, and download this. You're going to have to put your name and email address in to get it. Um, and with that, it allows you to play Reactor-based instruments. So check this out. You could buy some Reactor-based instruments if you want from Native Instruments, and a lot of them are really good and really cool, but we're not going to do that. If you do a search for Reactor User Library and go into the Reactor community, under Reactor User Library here is 6,000 synthesizers, samplers, sequencers, and effects, distortion, dynamics, delay, reverbs, all kinds of cool stuff, devices people made with Reactor. Here's one from Tom Attenborough called the Twattenborough. <laughs> I'm going to download this, right? And it should just go right into my downloads folder. Let's see. Why did it not do that? Should have done that. Try it again. It might be asking me to log in. Okay, let me log in. There we go. And then it downloaded it. Right? So all you have to do now is go into that folder and grab it and drag it into Reactor. Come on, boy. Boom. And there it is. Now I have an instrument. Let me turn on my MIDI controller here. Now I have an instrument that Tom Attenborough made called the Twattenborough. And it's a synthesizer for free. And it sounds pretty good. There's drum machines and all kinds of cool stuff. And let's see. He's got 20 presets he made. Pluck Spirit. <laughs> All kinds of knobs and dials you can turn. Built in Reactor. All right, there's just one thing. And so let's go back to the Reactor library. And let's see what else we got. 14 solo brasses. That sounds interesting. Let's download that guy. All right, look in our folder. Oh, that one must have a lot of samples to it because it's taking a little while to download while that's downloading let's look for another one um a mellotron mk2 simulator all right let's download that too these are all free from people who have just um you know they built them and they're giving them away for free let's see what else we can get evil the wave witch evil themed synth all right let's get that one I'm just going to open up whichever one downloads first. All right, the Wave Witch downloaded first. So let's open up that folder. And then I'm just going to uh, grab that guy and drag it in Reactor. Oh, it's, it's in a zipped folder, so I have to probably extract it first. Let me just extract it. Now, it's, now that that's unzipped, it should work, but let's just make sure. Boom. Now we have the Wave Witch. It's getting loaded. And there is the Wave Witch. And let's see what this guy sounds like. 
Sweet. And he's got tons of presets here. Ooh, that's a nice sound. Cool. Damn. All right, let me record that. That sounds cool. So... Turn on pre-count. Here we go. Cool. All right, so we got that loaded. Wave Witch. Let's pull in maybe one of these other brass ones if they finished downloading. Bouchamp Brass. Let's extract that. Taking a little while while well, that's extracting. Let's open up the other one. Tape magic. Let's extract that guy. Looks that guy looks small, so that might be faster. Nah, they're both taking a little while. While they're doing their thing, let's see. Um, these are ones that come with Reactor if you actually bought the paid version, and there's some pretty cool stuff in here. This one's called Spark. And they're just really like synthesizers. Oops, here's Spark up here. So let me play a little thing with Spark while that Wave Witch plays below it. Here we go. All right. Let's quantize that. Hopefully our drums or our other instruments are done loading. Uh, let's open up Bouchamp Brass. Let's bring that guy in. It's amazing how much cool free stuff there is out there. All right, that guy's loading. And look, look at this. This is free. Can't hear anything now. I can't hear anything though. I mean, it looks really cool. <laughs> I can't hear anything now. Ah, that's a shame. I wanted to play some of that stuff. It's a shame. But look at this. Somebody, somebody built this in Reactor and giving away for free. If only it made a noise. All right, let's try. The other instrument we got, Tape Magic. All right. Tape Magic. Tape Magic, please. I might have to extract this one, too. All right, it's loading. Hopefully this one will make a noise. If not, I'll just pop open Reactor on another track. All right, here we go. Let's record. Cool, cool. All right, so if we, it would be nice if we got those horns in there. We'd lay down a fourth track. We've got something cool going on here. Let me mess around with Wave Witch here. Maybe uh, turn off, turn down the filter a little bit. I think this is the filter. Here we go. Now right, we definitely need drums. Let's see if there's a cool drum machine in the Reactor User Library. Let's just do uh, you could because you could do a search. You do drum. A bop snare. Kevin the kick. Sydney the snare. What are these? I want a full drum machine. Some of these are built with blocks, which is a, a little bit of a different version of Reactor. I don't want to use blocks. I want to use like just an old school drum machine. Let's see what we got here. A lot of these are blocks. So let's just say Reactor 5 or lower. 
Drum machine. All right, what's this guy? It's only got three stars. It's probably not good, but that's. Oh, this one looks interesting. Got got five stars. Let's just get this one. All right, that's downloading. Done downloading already. Mandrill, it's called. Uh, let's extract it. Pop it into Reactor. So I'm going to have to bring a different, another version of Reactor in. Now I'm using, like I said, full version of Reactor. You might want to use the player. And then let's just see what this is. This is exciting. It's like fun. You're like, what is this instrument going to sound like? Some externals can't. 38 miss. Oh, geez. No. I wonder if it's going to play anything at all. It looks neat. Yeah. Good. All right. Here's it with here it is with everything else. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's loop this and maybe try a different pattern. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let me let me EQ out some of this. It's a little too much low end. It sounds kind of grimy. Let's hear it with now the jump kit. Is that cool or what, man? Here we go. Two, three, four. the brass again cross your fingers how come, there's no... how come it's not working it looked so promising wow look at all that stuff going on like i said you could build your own instruments too but anyway you get the picture how long have we been going here 12 minutes you get the picture it, there's just thousands of pre-made stuff that people did a really, really good job with. And it's not just um, synthesizers. There's effects. Like... Like, here's a convolution reverb. Let's try it. So, I, actually, I don't think I ever used a reactor effect. So, if you go into effects under native instruments, you're also going to see... Um, Reactor effects. I think it's going to be under VST3. Let's see, because it should be reactor 6 effects. Okay. Reactor 6 effects. Let's put it on. Uh, let's put it on that lead in the beginning, the top one. And what effect do we want? Well, the one we just downloaded. Viva la convolution. And they're just usually like one little file. It's called a reactor ensemble or reactor instrument. And there's a convolution reverb. Curious to hear how this guy sounds. All right, let's try different ones. probably different files of that we can insert in here which I don't know how to do to load a new impulse right click on the sampler display and choose load sample All right, I'm right clicking yeah 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. But there's a reverb there, and it's a convolution reverb. Let's see what other effects there are. A negative harmony MIDI effect. No clue what that's going to do. Let's try it, though. Sorry, I planned on ending this video like five minutes ago, but there's just neat stuff here. Glitch. And how about a delay based? Space tricks. <laughs> See, it's Native Instrument is a for-profit company, so every time you download a free thing, it brings you to like a sales page. That's what's going on here. But um, all right, we got that reverb on there. Let's bring in some of these delays. Space tricks. You just drag it into. Do we just drag it in? I gotta open up Reactor. Oh no, rope up Reactor Six Effects. Open up Reactor Six Effects, and then I think you just plop it in on there. And there's Space tricks. Oops. So there's Space Strix. So let's now take another Reactor 6 effect. Let's put it before the reverb. And that's an empty one now. We could fill it with something we downloaded. Glitch, maybe? A second. Neat. Cool, man. This is so freaking cool. And then effects three, let's put this one after glitch. Effects three, empty now, it's just waiting for something to fill. We're gonna put in specular, which I forget it is, whatever it is. Yeah, I don't know what it does, but it, it made everything go quiet. So I'm gonna just turn it off. <laughs> all right, let's hear everything with uh, all the instruments. There's some really fun stuff in here. You know, some of the user interfaces are going to be better than others because these are just regular people designing this stuff. So um, have fun with Reactor. It's all free. So just download Reactor Player and then just go to the Reactor user library here in their native instruments and dig through the thousands and thousands of effects and synths that you have at your disposal. I'm going to have some doll junkie stuff made soon too for Re from Reactor. They're going to be called Ugly Synths. That's the name of that model, that line, the Doll Junkie Ugly Synths. So be, be ready for the Ugly Synth line coming soon. All right, see you guys.